Now, imagine discovering a bag of unopened letters from the 17th century. Well, that's what's happened in the Netherlands. Now, scientists are trying to work out what they say inside without actually opening them. Incredibly, the letters were found inside a postmaster's trunk, and they date back to 1689. Dr. Dan Smith from Oxford University is part of the international team analysing them. He joined me here in the studio earlier, and I asked him what he would be doing with the letters. It's a really extraordinary archive, uh, a, a trunk full of 2,600 letters, 600 of which have never been opened. Uh, and they're in all sorts of different languages. And what we want to do is transcribe them, edit them, translate them, and uh, publish them. So we want to make these letters publicly available. Obviously, one of the tricks in that is reading the unopened letters as well. So I answered you're scanning them, but why can't you just open them? Can't we just open them? Well, we're talking about... Uh, 300 year old objects. These are extremely precious and we're very interested in their material features as well as their contents. So I've made you a replica letter here. Okay, so here's I'm a intrigued. Here's a replica 17th century letter. If I right. was to give that to you. So it's um, got a lovely seal on the front and it's sort of folded around the sides of the envelope. Okay, so you have to open it. Okay, are you sure about this? This yep. is definitely a replica. Yes. <laughs> so I have to rip it. I think so. Oh, it's history being destroyed. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Okay, oh, so gosh. you've had to damage that to break it. Imagine that was 300 years old. That is evidence that's lost forever. Um, and once that material is damaged, you can never repair it. You can never give that um, object its voice back, its historical voice back. So you're actually using scanning computers to go through the layers of the letter and, and read the text. So in the early modern period, ink contained iron. So if you run x-rays on it, it detects the iron. So um, we're running a, a new technology called X-ray tomography, and that is going to detect the ink in the paper. And then if we know how the letters are folded, we can reassemble them, a bit, bit like a jigsaw puzzle. So what might these letters tell us about, I suppose, that time in history, 17th century letters? It must be a real insight. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, it's, it's a thrilling project to be working on. Um, I think one of the things to think about is the way that um, most archives that survive tend to preserve... Um, official bureaucracy. They preserve the communications of the elite, of royalty, of diplomats, um, of, of rich merchants. What we have here is a kind of accidental archive. It was never meant to be archived altogether. So we get voices from all different strata of society. Uh, we get lots of letters from women as well as men. And women's letters historically don't get preserved on the same level because they don't tend to um, have those diplomatic functions, for example. So we're going to get insights into all sorts of levels of society. And uh, the letters that we've already read really do contain some uh, extraordinary stories. And will we be able to see them on Shea somewhere at some point? Absolutely. Our plan is uh, to put on an exhibition at the Museum of Communicati in The Hague. Um, and the long-term uh, long goal is to digitise them and to put them on a website so that you can see the original picture and transcriptions of them. And uh, we'll be writing about what those contents mean too. Dan Smith, thank you. Thank you.